Hi guys, Mudge here with Golden Motor. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how easy it is to convert your bike into an e-bike. So this is what a hub motor looks like. This one in particular is a front hub motor. It also comes in a rear and you can also use a mid-drive motor to convert your bicycle into an electric bike. Um, if you're interested in learning about the differences and pros and cons of each motor, I'll put the link in the description for that video. Um, each conversion kit comes with a few different components. Uh, let's dive into them. So here are all the components that come included in the Magic Pi 5 kit. Uh, here are the brake levers, the throttles. You have an option between a twist throttle or a thumb throttle. Um, this is the two button switch. You can hook up a horn. And this one is for cruise control. And this is the wiring harness. You might notice there's a controller missing. Uh, that's because it's built in into the wheel. Uh, you can see the design right here. This is for airflow and to keep the controller cool. Now let's dive into some of the optional add-ons that you can put on here. So here are the optional add-ons that you may want. Uh, obviously the battery is not included in the kit. Uh, this is a USB cable that you can program uh, the controller with. I can put a link in the description for this video as well. You can program the different voltage, the set the highest RPM, uh, you can set the regen braking, um, etc. This is a PAS sensor. Um, you would need that if you want to have pedal assist on the bike. And you would also need either a smart display or a Bluetooth dongle. Uh, the Bluetooth dongle you can hook up to your phone and use your phone as a display. Now let's set this up. So there's only one wire coming out of the motor. It goes to this housing and splits off here. Uh, this is to hook up the pedal assist. Uh, more on that in a bit. And if you go on the other side of the housing, it splits off into three cables. The first one is for the battery. The red hooks up to the red terminal on the battery and the black hooks up to the black terminal on the battery. The next is a 10 pin plug that hooks up to the wire harness. So we take the wire harness and uh, we line up the arrows and push it in. Now there's a third plug on here. This hooks up to either the smart display, the Bluetooth or the USB cable. Now, if you follow along the wire harness that we just hooked up, it comes to this housing and splits off into this cable, which is to hook up the lights. If you'd like to see how lights would be hooked up, please uh, see on our instructions page. And then it splits off into four cables. The five pin plug is for the throttle. And same thing, just line up the arrows and push it in. The four pin plug is for your cruise control button. And the remaining two plugs is for your brakes, which are three pin plugs. And that's pretty much the basic setup. So let's talk about some of the optional add-ons. Um, if you go back to the wiring harness where it splits off into three, uh, this five pin plug hooks up to either the USB cable, the smart display or the Bluetooth. Uh, let's hook up a smart display to it. It's the same thing, just line up the arrows and push it in. And uh, this is also, this is for the pedal assist. Uh, the way you would hook up a pedal assist is your pedal assist sensor is going to come with this extra plug. All you need to do is slice open this cable. There's four cables in there. Three of them are going to match these colors. Uh, you have to hardwire those. And there's also an extra blue cable, which is for reverse. You can just uh, seal it off and tuck it in. Uh, 
and you will be able to just plug the pedal assist sensor and I'll make a detailed video about uh, installing a pedal assist sensor as well and that's pretty much it that's how you hook up a Magic Pi 5 with an internal built-in controller if you found this video useful uh, please like the video and subscribe to our channel uh, see you later